idle speed. Okay, here is a typical throttle assembly. So here's the throttle. So when I pull the throttle all the way out, that's idle. So pulling it out, that's idle. And this is the idle stop right there. That's the idle stop. If I need it to idle slower, which way do I turn that screw? Do I turn it counterclockwise to screw it out, or do I turn it clockwise to screw it in? Screw it in. Okay, if I screw it in, it will move, it will make the throttle arm not be able to go as far. Mm -hmm. And since this is going to full throttle, it makes, it doesn't make sense to screw it in. If you need it to idle slower, you need this arm to go farther toward the slow direction. Okay, I see what you say. Yes, to go to the go, other side. Yeah. So the other side though. Yeah. So you need to you need to be able to move it the other direction towards slower. Okay. So this So to slow it down, you would unscrew. Put your screw on that, screwdriver on that, and turn it counterclockwise. Turn it, each turn is approximately 100 RPM, each full revolution. So. That's about 100 now. Okay, yeah, so that, that would allow the throttle arm to go farther, mm -hmm. which, al which allows the engine to run slower. So that's how you adjust an idle speed. Idle mixture. Uh, if the idle mixture is set correctly and you have the engine at idle and you pull the mixture to idle cutoff, mm. what do you expect the RPM to do? Increase and then decrease and then Yes. Die. Yes. So, and that this is this is the uh, the mixture control where the mixture control would connect uh, on this engine. And so this is as it'd be full rich. This is idle cutoff, but the mixture idle mixture adjustment is this screw. Okay. If it if it if it just drops off, mm -hmm. doesn't have any rise, the idle mixture is too lean. Too lean. And so you would turn this out a little bit. You would just turn this out a little bit and richen it. Okay. If the if the RPM rise is uh, find out where I'm at here. If the RPM rise is more than uh, specified, usually if it's more than 25, then it's too rich and it needs to be leaned. Okay. And in which case you turn this toward. You turn it in, which clockwise. is clockwise, but it's also labeled on here, rich and lean, usually on the end of that screw. If I can find it, yeah, you can see it says, there's a rich and lean. And so that's... Okay, same thing. We're just going to, uh, uh, let me see, this, oh. Press the reset. Reset. Yeah, we have power on, master on, fuel pump on. Make sure it's not leaking fuel. It wasn't before and it's not now. That mag switch on. Mixture goes full rich. Throttle gets cracked just a little bit. You had, no, that's way too much. That's why it didn't start before. So. Just, you want that to move just about that far. That's it. And key start. Clear. There we 
go. So the idle mixture is actually set correctly on this engine. So let's uh So idle speed is set at about 700. Uh you want it to be a So let's let's turn that adjustment screw in about a turn and see what happens. Can you see it? You can't hardly see it with right, this I see, arm here. I see. Yeah. So turn it in about one turn. Okay. All right, that's good. Yep, let's see what that does. Restart. Switch. Main switch has to come on. Yeah, that's good. Yep, perfect. Let's go adjust the idle mixture. Come to this side. Bring your screwdriver. Yep. There's the idle mixture screw. There it is. See it? Stick your arm in there and uh, turn that. We want it richer, so I want you to turn it out counterclockwise. Turn it out by half a turn or so. Okay, let's try that. It was rich, too rich. We, it didn't rise, so that means it was lean. So now too we lean. made it richer. So, so, so. yeah. Except for rich. Yep.
okay. now the idle mixture is set correct. Like so. Yeah, well, for this idle screen. Last one. Yep. Yeah.